You know, often when we talk about how actors grow through one of their roles, we mean it figuratively, that they've gotten better at actors. These actors you're about to meet, <laughs> Adam Popplewell, William Mosley, from the Chronicles of Narnia, you've literally grown up. You're literally <laughs> older, different looking people than you were the first time. Very exciting news, the second installment of the series, Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian. Now this has been, what, six years since the uh, first six auditions? Years. Yeah. Well, it's kind of spread itself out, really. I had my first audition when I was 13, actually, with Will, who was 15 at the time. And now we're 19 and 21, so it's a, it's a world away. And you've been friends off screen ever well, since? Well, you know, we actually never were friends. It's no, all acting. You we know? don't I mean, get on at all. I don't all. really know this person. I'm sorry, could you leave the studio now? I'm, yeah. not sure I'm supposed to remain at least 10 feet away. Yeah, yeah, we actually have times. a restraining order on each other. Um, <laughs> and how do you handle that? Because obviously this cannot be easy to be around all the time. <laughs> it's so very, you, you know, it's very trying. No, we're very lucky to have such lovely people on set. And I think coming back to the second film this time, having that ready-made community already there was really comforting and, and really exciting. And your role is as cut up? You give people a hard time? Pranks? Jokes? Um, yeah, actually there was one in particular that was um, kind of awful. We went off for a... Um, actually, all my practical jokes are kind of awful. We, we went off for, for a day of surfing, one day in New Zealand, and Skander, and as there's no ozone layer in New Zealand, you can get burnt very easily. Now, now Skander was his first day of surfing. He was lying on the board and was doing himself like this, and he'd forgotten to do the back of his legs. With sunk. And he is one of the whitest, palest people. Now, now he got back to the hotel room, and he was walking like he was 85 years, y years old. Now, I thought it would be funny to run up behind him and slap him on the back of the legs. Now, now the funny bit of this was him trying to chase <laughs> after me like this, like, come back here, ow, come back here, ow, you know, it was, a, that's it was a kind of an entertaining moment for me. That's a bond that will last forever. <laughs> yeah. See, right. the, this second movie is darker, right? <laughs> As we, we it heard, it's darker. darker, even the pranks yeah. are. Tell me a little bit about the movie now. Uh, I know that in this one, you return after time, you find a different type of Narnia. Anna, what happens this time? We do. Well, Narnia has been taken over by the Telmarines. It's 1,300 years later, and the Narnians have actually been persecuted. They've had to go into hiding. A lot of the talking animals are extinct. So Prince Caspian calls the Pevensies back to Narnia when he blows Queen Susan's horn, and they have to kind of join forces in order to save it from the Telmarines. And that is our clip. The Pevensie, all four siblings, have realized they're in a different world. Let's take a look and listen. Here. I think we did. Hey, that's mine. From my chess set. Which chess set? Well, I didn't exactly have a solid gold chess set in Finchley, did I? Can't be. Don't you see? What? I imagine walls. And columns there. And a glass roof. Caparava. A whole new world growing in your character role as well. First screen kiss in this movie, is Indeed. it true? I know you're here with your mom this morning. Let's get the yeah. official statement about this. The I first am. kiss, did you keep it professional? I tried. I mean, I'm not really into public displays of affection, and this was about as public as you <laughs> yes. could possibly get. Being a movie and all. Yeah, and we had 300 extras standing around. I had my surrogate family watching. It was quite nerve-wracking. Now, interesting. We had uh, Ben Barnes was here. He plays Prince Caspian. Oh, really? He did swordplay. You two using your time better. You actually read these books to kids in need. Tell me about it. Well, you know, um, we went to... Actually, you know, one of the... Best parts of publicity so far, I think, um, for Anna and myself, yeah. was um, going to see these these children in this school, and actually sitting down and reading the book to them, and reading the story, and really, you know, you know, seeing the kids' faces kind of light up. And I think that we can go there and do that, that you know, do that for them. It's it's such a sweet, sweet it event, is. and I think. Um, you know, you can only hope that kids that read the books first and watch the film second, and you know, their imagination isn't changed at all by, by any of it. And you're helping them do it. William, thank you. A pleasure. Nice Anna, to meet you. Pleasure thank you. indeed. In a flash, be the first to know what's coming up on Good Morning America tomorrow with the GMA Daily Flash email. All the great insider details you want to know from GMA. Go to abcnews.com, click the GMA page, and sign up for the Daily Flash. And you can even enter to win the weekly GMA Flash gift bag giveaway. Sign up now.